love with the dogs. They're just very affectionate. They're very smart, um, very easy to train. And so it's been a perfect match for everybody, the household and then me for hunting. This is our second one, but you know, because we like to be outside, this is, this is something that I really enjoy. So we're used to having a Vishla that is just around the house and it's awesome now to see her out in the field working birds um, and actually doing what she was bred to do. I just like coming out here and watching the dogs. Watching the dogs work and just have fun shooting. We're here today at an AKC hunt test. And there's three different levels that we're going to have today. One's a junior, then a senior, then a master level hunt test. All these are sanctioned by the AKC. And us as a club, they entrust us to follow the rules of the AKC, which are published in a rule book. So we'll start with juniors. Most junior dogs are what we see at home with a pet. Um, not a lot of required training. Most of this stuff is bred into the dogs for it, for it. There's four things the AKC wants to see. And they have judges out here on horseback or ATV. And those judges will be judging on four things. Bird finding, hunting, pointing, trainability. How does the dog listen to you? Point. We need the dog to point for three seconds. One 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. It only has to do that 50% of the time to pass a junior. Bird finding, does the dog find birds? If, if it goes on point and a bird is produced, that's considered bird finding. Hunting, is the dog looking for birds? Or is the dog by your side? We're basically wanting the dog to go out and find game. Junior hunt test, you need to pass four times. And once you pass four times, you get your junior certificate from the AKC, which that endows you to go on further. The next step is senior hunter. They're gonna see those same four things that we did in junior, but they're gonna add two more to it. One is backing, and the other is a retrieve. So with that, there is gonna be live gun gunfire. The dogs have to be steady to wing and shot. What that means is when you go in and the dog is on point to release the bird, nudge the bird up with your foot, bird comes up, gunner shoot, dog's able to take off after the shot. They have to stay in that woe command until that point. And then they have to go and retrieve the, the dead game. In a master hunt test, the dogs must be in control at all times. These are the polished gun dogs. They must listen at all times and be under command at all times. The German short hair pointer is going to come in to point and then a, the Vichel is going to come in back. This is the qualifying back for master. After the shot, the dogs both should remain in the same exact spot and not move. In the pointing demonstration, this dog locks up. So it has to stay in that position the whole time. Then this dog will not break. Until the bird is flushed and then is released for the retrieve. The bird will be shot and he will make the retrieve. The dog is sent by a command. Dog searches for the dead game. Dog fetches the dead game and retrieves to hand. Just as in this example here for retrieve. This production yeah. it's called cat herding. Cat herding? Yeah. Which is hard to do. Uh -huh. Let's go. 
Makeup. Put your hand up. Where's makeup? Right. Squeal like a pig. Oh, I forget I'm mic'd up. <laughs> <laughs>